What does neuroinflammation contribute to Alzheimer's disease and what do we know? Well, in the last uh, few years, the, the picture has changed dramatically. Uh, about 10 years or so ago, we spent our time arguing about whether the activation of the innate immune cells of the brain, the microglia, were simply a consequence of the ongoing pathology, the degeneration of the neurons, or whether it actually contributed to the disease. So simply consequence or contributor. Uh, since the, the Genome Wine Association studies uh, have really taken off and uh, begun to yield results, it's become increasingly clear that a large number of the, the risk factors, the risk genes uh, for Alzheimer's disease are genes that are expressed in myeloid cells, cells of the immune system. And of course, uh, the microglia are cells of the, the immune system. So the interest has now become, well, if it, these uh, microglia are, are potentially uh, carrying these mutations, or as we know, some of them are indeed uh, expressed in, in microglia, then uh, how do they contribute to the disease? And uh, ongoing studies in many laboratories uh, around the world, but also in the Dementia Research Institute, are trying to find out what these genes do uh, in uh, different uh, populations of microglia. The microglia are different in different regions of the brain. So the interest is, how do these cells now contribute to the disease? Uh, at the present time, uh, we're in a, a state of flux. Uh, there are views about whether we need to activate these microglia further, encourage them to uh, a phagocytose, the amyloid, or whether we need to downregulate them, switch these cells off, uh, and uh, in some way prevent them secreting molecules that might be contributing uh, to the neurotoxicity. Uh, and when I uh, spoke yesterday, uh, the point that I made is that the microglia serve us well for the first 50, 60 years of our life. Uh, they, they look after our brain, uh, and except in a relatively small number of people, uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease is not a problem of those uh, under 60. So uh, maybe we need to, to get the microglia back to what is called their homeostatic state, as it, such as it exists in the normal healthy brain. And if we push them towards homeostasis, uh, then maybe they wouldn't be secreting molecules that have the potential to damage neurons and their connections. The important thing, where are we going to go next in, in neuroinflammation? is we have to identify targets that enable us uh, to manipulate these cells. But if we're going to manipulate the cells, we need to be confident that we're not going to stop them doing a job that they're doing in the normal healthy brain in this so-called homeostatic state. Uh, when we look at what we know about what they do in homeostasis, uh, it's pretty clear that they're involved in phagocytosing some debris but uh, whether this is their major job and, and absolutely critical, I think is uh, still unclear. There's interest in whether they uh, monitor synapses and are in some way involved in, in synaptic health, uh, and there's much debate about that in, in the healthy brain. Uh, in development, they seem to play an important role, but whether they do in the normal healthy brain uh, is unclear. Uh, so what we're going to have to think about is we're going to manipulate these cells, how we do it has to be safe, and it has to in some way prevent them doing the damage or contributing to the damage that happens in the diseased brain. Uh, I think we don't yet know enough about precisely which molecules these cells are secreting that um, cause damage, although there's a long list of potential candidates. Uh, my own prejudice is we need to downregulate these, these cells, push them back uh, towards the homeostatic state. Uh, others don't agree, so first of all we have to come to agreement as to how we're going to proceed. And then we have to start to do experimental medicine studies, small studies in humans, uh, to see firstly that we have evidence that we really are manipulating the cells and processes that we think we are, uh, and then we have to be sure at the same time that it's a safe thing to do.